Summer light conditions continued for your Wednesday today as we had high temperatures into those uh, mid 80s today across uh, most of western Minnesota here at home. Top things off in the lower 80s in Rochester at 82 so far today. Getting, getting up to 86 though into Albert Lee, 84 in Mason City for high temperatures today. Uh, everyone getting into the 80s so far as we take a look outside some of our loose and out alive cameras. Right now, pretty quiet conditions. We filter in a little bit of cloud cover so far with that increase in humidity with those dew points uh, topping off in the lower 60s. So a little bit more uh, cloud cover, I think, through the rest of the night tonight. But those temperatures are still warm. So loose not a live camera here in Rochester, 79 degrees. Wind still strong out of the southeast, about 11 miles per hour. Notice those dew points. It's the highest we've had some dew points in about a week or two. Still see some sunshine or feel like temperatures actually one degree above our actual air temperature. So we're in the upper 70s right now into Rochester, Winona 83, currently Mason City. Still sitting at 82 through Dodge Center, Owatonna, Albert Lee, and Austin. And we'll continue to deal with the 80s through at least the next uh, about hour or so, and then we'll drop down into the lower 70s through the rest of the evening tonight. Now I want to show a wide view here of the upper Midwest and into the northern plains with our temperatures and our dew points because we have to watch this cold front. That's what brings our next at least chance for rain coming up probably late Thursday, extending through the day on Friday. Notice the temperatures. Now, if we looked at yesterday, we had high temperatures in the 90s through Minot and most of South Dakota and into northern Nebraska. Now temperatures almost close to around 30 degrees cooler behind that cold front, dropping those dew points. Notice our dew points into the lower 60s, dew points out west into the mid 40s. So once this cold front moves through, not only does it bring some rain, but also some more seasonal type temperatures. Notice this is where we have the rainfall at, where we're dropping those temperatures into the 60s through Bismarck into central South Dakota. We'll watch that cold front for probably late Thursday, extending into Friday, bringing several chances for some isolated showers through the daytime hours Friday and then extending into early Saturday morning. So we do have some shower chances ahead, isolated Thursday, Thursday looks a bit iffy, I think, for rainfall, uh, mainly Highway 52 East. I think a lot of it stays to the west of I-35 for Thursday into Friday. Friday into Saturday, probably our best chance for some rainfall accumulations, at least in the next seven days. And then back behind that cold front, we'll see some sunshine by Sunday. High temperatures back in the upper 60s by Sunday, and I think we're in the 60s most of next week. Might be slightly above average next week, but not <laughs> like the 80s that we've been dealing with the past several days. So future track, we'll watch for the rainfall here. This is early Thursday morning, so tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, maybe a couple isolated showers, mainly in northeast Iowa through Mason City and eventually getting towards Albert Lee and Austin. So Albert Lee, Austin, Mason City, Owatonna might be seeing a chance for a couple isolated showers throughout the, day, the daytime hours on Thursday. Mississippi River Valley mainly dry through the daytime hours on Thursday. Our best chance then we start to work in that chance for some rainfall by the time we head towards Friday evening. I think we see a good chance for some widespread rain then Friday evening and early Saturday morning. I think that's when we pick up the bulk of our rainfall accumulations area wide. So we're talking I-35 extending all the way east into the Mississippi River Valley. So as we look at those rainfall amounts, I think most of us end up falling at about a quarter to maybe upwards of a half inch in some isolated areas. Notice uh, right now, future track suggesting a lot of those heavier amounts well off to the west of I-35 through at least early Saturday morning. So the rest of the night tonight, 58 for the overnight low, maybe a stray isolated shower in Mason City tonight, but I think most of us end up staying dry. Tomorrow we might be able to work in a little bit of sunshine, a couple isolated showers, I-35 and west for your day on Thursday. Our best chance of rain coming up on Friday. So we'll see an isolated to scattered chance for some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder if we have enough instability in the atmosphere on Friday. And then cooler conditions back behind that cold front, high temperatures of the upper 60s Sunday, Monday, extending into Wednesday. Zach.